Hey guys, Altered State here. Welcome back to The Witcher 3. Um, oh wait, I need to read Shani's character entry in the glossary. Um, it's the next day after playing for like four hours yesterday. Uh, I want to finish this game. Like I, I love it and I love playing it, but now especially since I got the bad ending of the main... Um, not Beast Cherry characters. Annabelle... Shawnee. Gotta see what Shawnee likes. These are in alphabetical order, it seems. Um, just S comes before T. Shawnee! Uh, enter an oxen for a shoeber. Expecting to hunt down hideous monsters. You can imagine a surprise went down. Blah! One of those dank, slimy corridors ran into Shawnee, an old dear friend, Geralt, and I had first met this extraordinary... Geralt and I? Is this being told by Dandelion? Um, a extraordinary young woman years earlier when she was just a cultish co-ed, but by this time she had grown a dignified doctor and a fearless field medic for the Redanian army. This latter role had led her and a unit of soldier escorts to descend into the sewers. Their goal was to gather a sample of the venom spewed by the monstrosity squatting there. Geralt the gentleman through and through agreed to help her in her task. Counter with Vladimir von Everick reminded him that he and Shani had once shared passionate, though passing, feelings for each other. He also became aware of some remnant of these feelings was still lodged in his heart. At times, fate composes tales so shocking no poet would dare put his name to them, for fear his public would mock them as overly outlandish. Such was the case when Geralt and the ghost of Vladimir von Everick shared a body for an evening and companion. That makes it sound like a really dirty threesome. Uh, accompanying Shani to the wedding of Eldonia, her friend. From the academy, some might have let this unusual escort interfere with their enjoyment by, uh, of the evening, but not Shani looking around the tasteful wedding decoration smelling the rich odor of berry-laden rowan, a plant near and dear to her heart. One which summoned up fond childhood memories, Shani felt the heedless abandon of her younger years return and overjoyed threw herself into a thick of festivities. One thing is certain, Shani was not bored by the company of Vladimir von Everix, who showed her with professions of burning desire swept off her feet with his maniacal energy. Yet went the hour when the hour came for him to return to the netherworld, she breathed a sigh of relief, for now she could spend some time alone with Geralt, who was much more sensitive and predictable, though Vlad would probably just call him boring. Okay, so we gotta find the Rowan plant. Nice. Alright. Good me that will lift her spirits. Wait, no! That's... A sip of something strong never hurt anyone. Question is, will it cheer her up? No. Leave. Good idea? Maybe not. She might be a sad drunk. Yeah. Okay. I'm glad it gave me an option there. It wasn't just like, this is the one you chose. Good job. Alright. What is this one? Rowanberry brandy. Ah. Oh, my hand. <laughs> a sip of something strong. Okay, I'm guessing the other one's alcohol too. Shani's a happy drunk. All right. Give Shani the alcohol. I'm just gonna walk at her like, oh, I found you this. It's Rowan Berries. I know they're your favorite. Um, try not to spill it. Woman. Oh, there she is. <laughs> Still here? Thought you had to meet Olgird. You and I see each other so rarely. Figured Old Geard could wait till morning. Hmm. Seemed to like the Rowan. Thought you might want to try another form of it. So I like sweet. to make necklaces out of the berries, but guess I am curious how this will taste. Wedding's still in full Sorry. swing, but your face. I'd say you were at a funeral. Why so sad? Sad? Not really. It's just after I caught the garland, I realized something. I'm alone. The years are flying by, yet all I ever do is study, pump stomachs, and reattach limbs. All alone. All alone. Hmm. You got me. You got me. For how long? A day? Two? Don't get me wrong. It, it's nice, but you come and go. Mm. Yet I need someone who'll be there every night when I come home. 
After a day of bandaging wounds and sewing up guts, I need a good glass and a good laugh with someone who'll help me forget it all for a moment. Hmm. I get it. And yeah, could never be there for you every day. But I am happy to see you always. And today, I'm all yours. Well, that's well, nice, I guess. In that case, let's drink to tonight. To tonight. May the moment last. It's already midnight. It's basically tomorrow. I'm afraid the drink's gotten to our minstrels. Horribly off key. Are they? It's the same song I've been hearing the entire game. And every time I play Gwent, which I lost in the last episode and had to wear donkey ears, which was awesome. I hope I still have them in my inventory. Did you enjoy the wedding? No. It was all right. Not half bad. Might have even enjoyed myself if I hadn't had to argue with a madman's ghost, be his puppet. <laughs> Gotta admit, though, thanks to him, I did experience a lot of things I might have missed otherwise. Mean chasing a dog through the woods or brawling, fence board in hand? Forgetting something. There was also a kiss. <laughs> True. I was thinking about Although the boat that diving. Was so clearly Vladimir. I nearly forgot you were involved at all. Hmm. His will, sure, but my body felt everything. Hmm. Reminded me of the old times. <laughs> oh. Vizima, you mean? Mm, the old times, yeah. Oh, I thought you'd forgotten our whole Catriona story. Epidemics long forgotten, sure. But the romantic bits in that adventure? Don't plan to forget those. Hmm. Hmm. Should we do some remembering right here in this babbling brook? You needn't worry about our finances, sir. My workshop, it business is booming. Good. Mm. I'm relieved to hear it. See, I love that guy's hair. Tied to Torrent, but don't tell the old Battleax. She'd be furious if she learned to let it slip. Never you worry, sir. My lips are sealed as the grave. Mm. Those men folk need to stick together. Yeah, men folk. <laughs> <laughs> Enough of that. I'm Vassy. But you can call me Dar. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Dar. I feel honored. Let's drink. I'm guessing it. it's the dad of the bride, otherwise, that's a really weird abundant. conversation. A bride's father <laughs> yeah. and his son in law? Stiff at first, but add drink and they bond or slap each other silly. Call me Dar. I was afraid the wedding wouldn't happen at all. I wouldn't. Mean the differences in wealth? Mm hmm. Jonas's family didn't consider Aldona worthy. Clear they love each other, though. Parents usually give in if that's the case. Oh, I don't know. My mother would never accept an unfit beau. Even if I insisted I loved him, had chosen him. <sighs> unfit? You'd convince her, I'm sure. Doubt your mother's that unbending? You'd win her over, I'm sure. I haven't managed to yet. Hmm. <laughs> you only ever bring home fiddlers, jugglers, and witchers? <laughs> no, but she'd want me to choose someone wealthy or with a good trade, well brought up. Because money is, is everything. Uh, I guess not, but it's hard to find one like that who's still even slightly amusing. <laughs> That's probably true. Tell that to my mother. She actually thinks I should have found a husband at the academy. But mm. I didn't. Ugh. I'm certain she thinks there's something horribly wrong with me. Oh, please, Shani. It's the 13th century. Women don't go to the academy to find a husband. Yeah. They learn, pursue their passion. Go with the and modern times. Fact, I'm sure your mother appreciates it. You got a doctorate, have your own practice, been at the front lines many times. You're a good person. Not a thing wrong with you. Really think so? Really. My puppy, I might have to pause for a second. He's looking like he needs to go to the bathroom. Look, the brave brothers. After this little cutscene. Drank themselves stiff as the boards they tore from the fence. Hmm. Wonder where the sister is. Couldn't protect her from a cheeky four-year-old in their condition. Well, if they hadn't intervened, you'd have gone for a tumble in the hay with her. She was willing, if you ask me. Hmm. Tumble. Tumbling in the hay. I prefer you. Would have survived somehow. That was Vladimir, not me. That was Vladimir, not me, remember? But pretend for a moment it had been you, and the situation had been different. Say you're at the wedding, and that very girl keeps glancing, smiling at you. 
Then she finally walks up, and you know exactly what she wants. Do I have? What do you do? Let her down easy. I prefer you. Huh. If Dandelion was around, and he usually is, I'd introduce her to him and walk off. I don't believe that. You'd let the opportunity pass? I don't need opportunities like that. Hmm, change to style. Hmm. Let's say I've grown choosy. You say that as if you've already picked. Because I have. Guess who? <gasps> Ooh, romance. I hope Yennefer's not mad. We were tired in the... Gorgeous. In the main... I was going to say in the last game. The main game. Oh, my medallion just spawned into existence. Been thinking about that kiss. What kiss? The one Vladimir planted on your lips with my lips. <laughs> just wondering if it would have felt any different without him there. That I cannot tell you. Hmm. Only one way to find out. Oh. Balin, you're ruining the moment. Although the animation's kind of ruining the moment, too. It's hard to animate kissing, I'm sure. But it's like, it's like making puppets kiss. So, how'd it compare? Better by Mal. Completely different. Better by Mal. Yeah. Definitely rather kiss you alone, of my own free will. Buddy, one second. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I do believe Vladimir was after more than a kiss. Said so openly, in fact. All true. He was very direct, I'll give him that. Which, on occasion, mm. has its advantages. You're right. Can save a lot of time. So, uh. how do you stand today, Geralt? Oh God, he's Have some time to waste with me? He's jump or over the gate. Go back now? Okay, sure didn't I save me. I promised you this night. Aim to keep my word. And <sighs> I aim to be direct. Hey, Even then. more so than Vladimir. Sounds... Interesting. Interesting is what interesting does. I don't know if he's just mad because the cat's in there or if he actually has to go to the bathroom or something. But I'm hoping I'll get a moment to go deal with him because I'm sure you can hear him in the background. How did you know? I'm clairvoyant. Oh, my voyant is Claire. Please, please don't jump over the gate, buddy. <sighs> Practically full. Be ashamed to let it go to waste. Besides, we leave it here, a very drunk person could find it, drink themselves into even more trouble, and I swore a solemn oath. First of all, do no harm. All right, let's empty it. You're the medic. Stop giving me. Stop giving me things to like have a time okay, limit to choose. For me. Cause I want to like pick up my dog and just we'll put him outside for a second. Before they catch us. Come on, let's hide. Cause he's freaking out. Can I pause? I can't pause. Boy. Okay. He peed on the pee pad. Row me to the moon. Gotta fly to get to the moon. <laughs> You're dead wrong. Row me Look, to the moon. It's right there, in the middle of the lake. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, what all right. What are you doing? What one usually does on the moon. One second. There, that's a way to pause. We kiss on the moon? That's a thing? Hmm. Oh. Oh, we do that on the moon. That's right. I forgot about that. God dang it. I've been trying to take my dog out to use the bathroom, like... For four hours, and he finally decides as soon as I start playing, it's time. <laughs> Sorry, now I'm ruining the moment. 
I have a feeling this video is going to be age restricted. <laughs> Sorry, Yennefer. Hopefully she doesn't portal on in and break this up. Was I that bad? Not that bad? <laughs> or have you developed an allergy for me? Uh, I had too much to drink. Hmm. All right. Sometime later. What a beautiful morning. Awake already? For a while now. Hmm. Did you know you've gained twenty-seven new scars since we last saw each other? You counted them. Keeping count. Mm-hmm. I do that sometimes. Counting scars. Did we make it to the moon? Forgotten already? No. Not the sort of thing you forget. Exactly. Sound like you wish you could. No. I certainly won't forget that. And I definitely don't regret it. But I do need to sort it all out in my head. Alone. Hmm. Shani, wait. Before you go, need to ask you a favor. Yes? It's about Olgird. Seems a mysterious man. Can't escape the impression his story's more complicated than I thought. Could you look into it? See if you can learn something? Hmm. Sure. Be glad to. Thanks. Thanks. Be seeing you. Yes. See you later, Geralt. We did it all before pumpkin time. It probably doesn't make any sense. It doesn't really even make sense to me, and I said it. <laughs> I was thinking about, you know, how we had to do all the things before the ghost left at midnight. Did we do it? Go back to Dead Man's Party? Ah! Okay. BRB, I gotta check out my dog! He finally pooped! Oh, the exciting things of being a new dog parent. Okay. Can I put my stuff back on now? Um. Yes. Keep those on. Those are important. Uh, put my new moon armor on. Oh, where are my pants? There they are. Alright. We are ready. Um, is there a fast travel place near here? I'm just going to run back. Going to go let Uldegard. Uldegard. That was a that was a side quest, by the way. But I figured I should probably do it. Oh, there it is. I figured I should probably do it while I was in the area, like right after the party, because I don't know if I left to go do other things. If like that would cause the quest to fail, like I feel like it probably would. Um, where, he's all the way down here. I don't remember that. Oh, that's right. He said he would meet me at the tavern here and he's because his estate caught fire and is burned and broken and dead now. Just <laughs> Excuse me. Stay out of my way. I wonder if people will treat me differently now that I've got donkey ears. What are you doing? Are you just fighting nothing? Witcher. Witcher. What are they doing? Ah. Overgrown wains, you see. Wains. Have you any children, Geralt? I did. None. Oh, hmm. yes. Forgot witches are sterile. Well, don't just stare at me. Tell me what brings you. Let's play Gwent. Vladimir sends his greetings. Vladimir sends his love. You spoke to him. Impossible. Did more than that. Fulfilled your wish. And talked to him extensively. Curious what he had to say. Hmm. Impossible. You see these donkey ears? I've been through hell for you. 
Your dead brother had himself one more day like those of old. Very hmm. easy to say. But have you got any proof? He wrote you a letter written in my blood. In my handwriting. Vladimir's hand. It's unmistakable. Oh, yes. His handwriting. You've done well, Witcher. Is that all? Or have you something else? Gonna work on getting you Borsodi's house next. Hmm. Best of luck. Enjoy. Sweet. Yay! Open sesame! Ah! You shut up. And crawl back under your rock. Um, okay. I have 200 of 220 thi Wait. It's here? Oh. Okay, then I guess we'll go do that. Excuse me. Everyone to me! To me! Which, uh... What? Hello? <laughs> Maybe I should this take the donkey or something. Seems it. Private Kleiner, you're on duty. Need I remind you, fraternizing with civilians is not allowed. Purpose of your visit? Are any of the soldiers guarding an auction house? Why did I, I just want to talk to Any of the owners home? Meaning the one and sole owner, the esteemed host Besordi. Host Besordi. Ah, he is. Need to talk to him. Order 76 CWX is clear. Auctions only open to folk with invitations. Right out in their names, plain and simple. I'm sure we can work something out. Hmm. Gonna let that hold you back? Come on. Afraid you're out of luck. Order 76 CWX, also held at Lance Corporal Vatslav, stick a broomstick up his ass. Kleiner, huh. need I remind you, you can't of say that. for insulting a superior. You can't Who say that. Have we here? Geralt, the Witcher of Rivia. Yeah. Vinny Vivaldi, the banker from... Actually, where are you from? Matters little, mate. Hmm. Gold knows no boundaries. Boundaries. What's all the fash, Corporal Vatslav? Are you squabbling with my pal Geralt? Master Vivaldi, sir, your esteemed Vivaldi. associate, he weren't invited to the auction, and I've... But I plow and have been, and he's coming with me. Yeah. In you go, Geralt. Okay. I'm dressed the part, as you can see. But my orders... Fuck your orders. <laughs> Need I take this up with the sergeant? Ha! I thought not. No! Stand to attention! Shut your giggy! Hmm. Oh, the lads will be rolling back at the barracks. Sort it! Now march! Round you go! One, two, one, two! Uh, three comes next, in case you were wondering. Not more ones and twos. Here. Somebody's a really loud gulper. Did you hear that? Appreciate the help. Just night. Always had a mind to see into old pals and clients. Business with you's a pure pleasure, Vimmy. The dear <laughs> departed wifey claimed the same. Ah ha! Folk are assembling. Auction's about to start. Time we went upstairs. <laughs> Nobody gonna acknowledge the donkey ears? I really just want to talk to Horst Borshardy. <laughs> Any idea what might be up for bid? What did folk come to bid on? Any idea? All kinds of valuables. Rare weaponry, exotica. But I've got my eye on a selection of canvases by the master portraitist of the Maribor School. Van der Noob. Long Noob. Well, well. Never knew you to be a connoisseur. Of course I'm not. It's all muck and rubbish to me. Point of fact, I'll just wrap them in paper and lock them in the vault. Why in the world do... What do you mean, why, Geralt? I've got to diversify my investments, didn't I? <coughs> okay, I didn't put the auction house in Novigrad. Could have sworn the Borsodi's auction house was in Novigrad. It was, but they moved it. You see, Radovid offered Horst a preferential tax rate. Zero percent. Huh. <laughs> Pretty much unbeatable. Aye, and I've never seen a purer example of the benevolent state. 
Steet. Okay. Actually, I'm really just here to talk to Horst Borsodi. Oh, might be more of a problem than you'd expect. Because? An awful hermit, that one. Not a wee bit like his da, my little keep his soul. Hmm. But, Horst did like to show his heed during the auction. I'll introduce you then. Be mighty indebted to you. Think nothing of it. Only if I collect on loans and promissory notes. <laughs> All right, up we go. Okay. Hey, a unicorn. I've seen one of those. This is a different color, but I uh, wonder if it feels the same on your bare ass. I mean, I wonder if the ass feels. I mean, I wonder. Where are we going? Upstairs? real estate. Could get the attractive terms on a mortgage. No such thing as attractive loan terms, Vimy. Hmm. Auction won't start for a time yet, it seems. Vimy, this is a banquet. Aye. A banquet. I detest banquets. Vacuous conversation, food portions fit for a mouse, drinks that taste like piss. Ah, hmm. it won't all be bad. Let me introduce you to some of my most interesting associates. Hmm. Old hand there is Countess Mignol. You think she Wait, can hear you calling her an old hen? With her. <laughs> Trek in the corners, Hilbert. New coin, that one. Hmm. Came into a right fortune playing Gwent. Ah, there's Yaramir, art dealer. A purer snob I've never known. But he knows paintings like no other. So, hmm. ready to charge someone up? It's not fitting for us to stand here like knobs. <sighs> <sighs> Optional meet with all these friends. Okay. Hello, friends. Yeah, I'm gonna save because he mentioned something about um, somebody playing Gwent. I wonder if they'll challenge me or something. And I don't want to lose. I like winning. might we trouble you, we spare? Mm-hmm. Greetings, Vivaldi. Who's this? Geralt of Rivia. You have the same voice as Roach. you might have a blather with us. I put the paintings on the block today. Hmm? Ah, sniffing for a quick turnaround as usual, are we? Pot well, maybe a little kettle different. Black, I'd say. Do a lively trade in canvases yourself, my friend. True. Yet first they delight my eyes, whereas you treat them as mere promissory notes. Hmm. The only arts that interest you are those culinary. Culinary. What about you, Witcher? Do you know anything about painting? I bet. Realize this might be hard to believe, given my crude-looking mug. But yeah, I know a thing or two. Truly? We ought Truly? to see what. Gonna challenge me on painting quizzes? Do you know our friend Vivaldi is in possession of five canvases by Van der Noob? Yet he cannot distinguish them from noob. landscapes. He said five noob. crowns apiece. I shan't pretend it's otherwise. Hmm. Yet for you, my dear connoisseur Witcher, that should present not the slightest problem. So do tell which of these is the handiwork of Edward van der Nobe, the master from Maribor. Maribor. Indicate the pastoral, indicate the view of Novigrad, indicate the pastoral portrait of the merchant, indicate the still life, indicate the battle scene. Uh, should present the slightest. Which of these is the handiwork of Edward van der Noob, the master from Maribor? Um. View of Novigrad. Battle scene? The battle piece, if I'm not mistaken. You err deeply. I bid you adieu. <laughs> Well, I'm no quitter. No jackass. Yeah, fuck him. <laughs> I'm Typical wearing the donkey ears, and he's calling him a custom. jackass. You know what? I want to try that again. Let's try the portrait of the the merchant. Wait, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Which one is the pastoral? And which one is the still life? Let's try the merchant. Really? Merchant with the pearl. No two ways about it. Hmm. Did I do it? My, my. Who would have thought? Hmm. Might I have a word in private? Nice. I am a genius. 
I only had to try one more time. At first, I thought you were an ignoramus. Vivaldi's equal. Hmm. I feel I should apologize and atone, so I shall tell you a secret. Oh, I like secrets. A Van Roe is due to appear on the block. The painter's unknown largely, but has a fierce admirer in Marcus Hodgson, a bookseller, as he shop in Novigrad's hmm. main square. I wager you'll sell him the canvas at a tidy profit. Hmm. Thanks. Think nothing of it. Now, please excuse me. My friend's Becky. Okay. So, what did he tell you? To buy the Van Roe. To buy the Van Roe. Apparently, this bookseller in Novigrad's willing to pay top coin for his work. Oh, who'd have thunk? Hmm. All right, let's go. Ink spot upon ink spot. She a number of them's doing my head in. Nice. I won. Hey, Duke Clavin declared bankruptcy. Okay, I'm gonna. Let's save again after that one. In case we have to do more quizzes or the play Gwent or something. Madam, allow me to introduce my dear friend, Geralt of Rivia. Witcher of the School of the Wolf. Yeah. Forgive me, but have we had the pleasure? No, but your guild is unmistakable. Your medallion. Oh, yeah, sometimes it freaks Countess out a little bit. Mignol is an eminent collector of Vitaminaica. 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 What now? All manner of objects related to the witcherly profession. Oh. Swords, gear, medallions. Where'd you develop Mind interest? if I ask how the Countess became interested in us humble monster slayers? I've hmm. some pleasant associations. Mm. Dating from my oh-so-distant youth. Mm. Did you see such things, Countess? You look right fetching to me. That's very kind, Master Vivaldi. But apart from my Vedomaniaca, I also own a number of mirrors. Your oh, most buddy? prized piece. What would it be? An armor element. An antique. School of the Wolf. From Ooh. 1234. Classic. Is it up for sale? I fear not. It's a memento. One of great sentimental value. But perhaps the Countess has got other Witcher curios she's willing to part with. Or acquire. Mm. Uh, perhaps she could trade. I'd charge 5%. A modest uh, uh, transaction fee. Sure, why not? Vimy, never seen anyone so good at laying their mitts on coin that clinked within earshot. But what the hell? See if we can't make a deal. Ah... Uh. Whoa, Viper armor. Ooh, I'm buying them. Um, there we go. Can I sell you some stuff now too? Make some of that back. I'm gonna buy some armor. Didn't need that. Um, ornate robe. Yeah, I don't need these anymore. Trousers. Can't sell any of my swads or anything. I can sell the sensor. Whoa! I can sell all of those for almost all of her money back. Hmm. We'll call it good. Nice. Nice! Does the Countess mm. have her eye on anything in particular today? No, but Horse Borsodi insisted he would put up something that would be of interest. Viper. Did he happen to say what it was? No. Mm. Oh, you know what he's like. A walking enigma. On another topic, Master Geralt, I was wondering if you'd be willing to help a lady in need. Depends on the nature of the need. Oh, it's mm. quite the trifle. I stepped out onto the balcony a moment ago. I dropped an earring while there. I couldn't find it. It must have fallen through the floorboards. Perhaps you, with your cat eyes... They're called puss papers. Not a problem. I'll go right away. I shall be much obliged. 
Nice. See you in a minute. I'm excited to figure out what this Viper stuff is, because... Loot? Oh, I'm supposed to talk to him, too. Let's... Let's find... Examine. Mm, some spilled wine. Nothing else. What? Mm. Some spilled wine. Nothing else. Yeah, because I, uh, There's I didn't... There's no earring out here, is there? None. Maybe the Countess would care to explain what this is about, all jokes aside. Forgive me. I... God, this is so embarrassing. Do... What? Do you know Vesemir? You like him? He was a tin shorter than you, wore a mustache. Do I know him? Man taught me everything I know. What? Ah. How is he, if you don't mind my asking? He died. How close were you? Don't mind at all. But before I answer, I also wouldn't mind knowing how you knew each other. Oh, I've told no one. Not ever. But I suppose I owe you an explanation. It was the winter of 1234. One, two, three, four. A beast prowled the streets of Oxenford. A fledder, I believe. Fledder. A contract was issued, a notice posted, and a witcher appeared. Vesemir, of the School of the Wolf. He came through our estate, tracking the beast. Our eyes met. Something sparked. I wrote him a message, asked my governess to deliver it. He visited, under the cover of night, night after night. On one such occasion, my father heard something. Vesemir had to flee. So quickly, he left behind his gambeson. <sighs> The first piece, the start of your collection. Yes, but also the end of our love. Oh. Father had an arrest warrant issued, then quickly married me off. I was fortunate. My husband died young, leaving me a sizable fortune. And thus, I have lived on memories. Well, shit. <laughs> <sighs> Afraid I have bad news. Oh? Hmm. Need I say more? Please tell me. Did he at least die like a witcher? Well, yeah. No. He died like a hero. <sighs> Better than a witcher. There is that. I thank you for tolerating I a I feel like the donkey ears really elegant. detracts from the seriousness of this conversation. Please don't say that. I am old and I am wealthy. I may say what I please. And now, be so kind and leave me to my thoughts. Did I say conversation? Like, confrontation? Is that a conversation? I don't know. Doesn't matter. I am really excited to craft my new Witcher gear and see what that's all about. Because this is, the gear I'm wearing now is just looted gear. It's not like... Save. Keep. Save between every interaction. Hello, new friend. Are you the one that wants to play Gwent? That's kind of creepy. Lad. It's been years. Allow me to introduce you, Geralt of Rivia. Enchanted. Pleasure's all mine. How's it? Got your eye on any sparkly bits today? Not really. The sparkly bits. I buy what strikes me fancy. I need something right like sumptuous for me walls just now. Nilfgaard. Mm. I get it right. Excuse me? Your Gwent deck. It's Nilfgaard, innit? No. Come on, admit it. Seen through me monster deck usually prefer Northern Realms. Not a bad deck, Nilfgaard, but I'll take the Northern Realms over it any day. Ah, understood. A patriot. You ought to know I just have better cards in that deck. Here's a positively superb player. Sue. Pal, so, minute for the auction starts, so I knew he was gonna challenge me to Gwent. Maybe around? Sure. Yep. Let's go all the way, cause I'm gonna win. Fuck yeah. Hmm. Suppose it's not whether you win. And or then lose. I can just retry sure. if I game. don't. Brilliant. I'll lay my cards out. Naturally. Uh, Geralt, might you have a wee word? But what is it? He's undefeated. Well, mate, since I brought you together, 
I do believe I'm owed a share of your winnings, if there are any. Ten percent. Mm -hmm. I find this for your swaps, okay? Mm -hmm. Pretty clear now why you wanted us to meet. One cardinal bit I've learnt in my trade, friend. Coin, then a stick. So, what'll it be? <sighs> Fine. Well, you did help with the guards at the door. All right. Ten percent of any winnings is yours. Any chance for a fifteen? No. Don't push it, Vimmy. Good thing I have right. better to do. Game on. Ten percent, so he'll get fifty. I'll get four hundred and fifty. If I win. Start. Hopefully I don't get shit decked like last time. Oh my god, I got three decoy. Oh my god, this is a terrible deck. Let's get rid of one of those. And one of those. What the hell? This is the worst deck. Uh, I guess we can start with this. Oh, good. Wait, isn't that supposed to burn me? It didn't burn me. I don't remember how that card works. I still haven't found one. I need to find one. Okay, let's do this. Force him to do more things, and I'm... Okay. Well, he used his thing, so I'm gonna use both of these. Get these back, so I can use them in the next round. Force him to keep... Oh, he passed. Well, I will take that again. All right, now I'll pass two. Strategic. Mysterious elf. God dang it, mysterious elf. <clears throat> All right, I'll try this again. More spies. Gathering more cards. Pass. Yes! Alright, I only have five cards left, so hopefully... Yay! That's a good one. That's a really good one. That's I usually have that at the start of every... Thing. Here, let's, let's hold on in case he decides to like use a scorch or something. He's got nine cards left. Oh, he's got one of those too. Oh, he's only got two though. Oh, and you know what? It's the last round, so I can use these because he can't get rid of these. Dang it. I think I have a chance, though. He still has six cards, though. <laughs> oh, God. All right. I got two cards left. Stop! Why does he have so many? I'm still winning, but... Please, no scorching. No scorching. God damn it! <laughs> He's only got three cards left. Ow. Uh. Oh! Yay! That was a close one. Fuck yeah. Unbelievable. Gontaro no, Dim. You cheated, you must have. Something hexed me or whatnot. Oh, no. I'd be careful with the gab, Hilbert. Afore Geralt takes a mind to demanding satisfaction. 
<laughs> you give it to him, you damn midget. You bearded pinch fist. Oh. <laughs> I thought you were guys were friends. will be a right bit higher when that bugger next comes round asking for a loan. Nice. Sweet. Esteemed ladies, honorable gentlemen, the auction will begin shortly. What? Take your places, please. Is... Ah, a long last. Come with me to the fort. I won't see much elseways. I got the Gontaro Dim card. Nice. Okay. Keep saving. All right. Nice. Oh, save right before the the thing happens. That's nice. <sighs> Can I just raise my donkey ears when I want to bid? Vinny, listen. Forgot to ask you. How's this auction going to work? They'll bring out three lots to start with. Once they've sold, or not, they'll be an intermission. Post-Posodi will probably appear then. That's when I'll introduce you. Counting on it. In the meantime, you got a budget. You're prepared to beg. Um... Of course I will, yeah. Of course I will. Went to the trouble to sneak me in here. I'd be an ass not to take a stab. <laughs> ah, knew the budget ass. get you. Esteemed ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I hereby open the auction. Ladies and gentlemen, lot number one is a brass figurine from the collection of the infamous Count Romilly. Hmm. Rumor has it the figure harbors a treasure inside. A rumor hmm. one may prove or disprove solely by destroying the beautiful bauble itself. Starting price, quite the bargain at 50 crowns. Any advance? With Master Hilbert at 100. To Countess Mignol, now at 150. Do I mm. hear 200? Might I have an advance? No, I don't care about that. Going once, twice, going thrice. The Honorable Yaramir enters a bid of 300. Any advance on three? 300 going. Countess Mignol at 350. Ooh. Going once, twice. Lot number one, the mysterious brass figurine, sold to Countess Mignol. Mignol. Proceeding now to lot number two. Ooh. A canvas by the young Novigrad artist Van Roe. Starry night over the Pontar. Charming piece. Truly a bargain at 20 crowns. Ladies ah. and gentlemen, 20 crowns. It's practically naught. I'm going to bid this one. Oh, with a bidder. Cat-eyed, no less. At 20. Do I hit 30? Call me. me Geralt. Business is business. I shouldn't have told him about 30 it. 30 from Vimy Vivaldi. Do I see 40 anyway? 30 going once, going twice. Hmm. Aha! The white haired gentleman bids 40. Who will bid more? 40 once, 40 twice. Vivaldi the bank is not about to give up easily. 50! Any advance on 50? 50 going once. I'm doing one more. Twice. Last chance, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, this is my last bid, I think. Oh, we've a right bidding war here. 60? The excitement! An advance on 60? 60 going once, 60 going twice. Oh, all yours, Geralt. Sold! Van Roe's yeah. starry night over the Pontar to the gentleman with the cat eyes. Nice. Lot number three, ladies and gentlemen. A true rarity, scarce as hen's teeth. Spectacle. Hmm. A frame of gold, mountain uh, gold? crystal lenses. They're very dirty. The tiny dexterous hands of the gnome masters. Once the property of the famed hired assassin known as the Professor. Whoa. Starting price of 200 crowns. Anyone tempted? Gwent Maestro Hilbert offers an advance of 50. Do I have three? My, haven't we livened up? 300 from Yaramir Ivanovich Zaitsev. Going once, twice? No, I don't care about those. <clears throat> Brilliant. With the gentleman with the white hair now at 300 and What? What? I didn't. 350 what? 350 twice? And three, four, four hundred oh. now with Countess Mignol. Any advance on that? Going once, twice, thrice, and sold. The professor's spectacles go to the Countess. I didn't. Oh, the bid. excitement! Sorry, Countess. The three lots okay. behind us will go to an intermission. Amenities abound. Please partake. We'll resume shortly. Hmm. Oh, Geralt, look! Horst Basudi! Come on, before some other cocksuckers steal him. Just, well, 
Don't expect a warm welcome. Okay. I'm dressed like an ass. Greetings, Horst. Allow me to introduce a dear friend and associate, Geralt of Rivia. Who comes uninvited? Forgot my manners. Exactly. Serious oversight. Maybe so, but you gained my, but you gained by my presence. Um Forgot my manners. Forgot my manners. Forgive me. The teaching at Care Morin, well, etiquette wasn't high on the list. Scandalous. Hmm. That's plain to see. <laughs> <laughs> Got the distinct impression the two of you started off on the wrong foot. Perhaps we should raise a toast to What's one like you want from one like me? You can find Maximilian Borsodi's house. Right. Let's dispense with the niceties. Maximilian Borsodi's house. Gotta lay my hands on it. Whatever it... What? Where did you learn of it? Gentlemen! No reason to lose our composure. Raise our voices. Can you stay out of this? Ask you, where did you learn of it? Whoa. Come on now. Where? From Olgierd von Everek. From Olgierd von Everek. Name mean anything to you? It does. Guards, escort the Witcher out, and he's not to enter, not alone, not hand in hand with Hierarch Hamelfart. Honestly, Hamelfart? he asked a question. It was a simple inquiry. One more word, inquiry. and I shall move my accounts to the competition. Sorry, mate, but... No reason to trouble the guards, Horst. I'll go willingly. I don't recall giving you a choice in the matter. Kick his swiving mutated ass out. All right. Don't need to be rude. Would it have gone differently if I said, um, doesn't matter? Hmm. Your swords, master. Law says we're to return them. Law don't say when, though. So we'll do it, aye. Just after we beat the singing shite out of the honorable gentleman. Mm -hmm. Gathering place for the elite, truly. Bring Come it. Come on, lads. Let's loosen our muscles a bit. Oh, got oh. Ow, rude. What'd you say? Can I have my swords back now? Oh, I got them back. I took them Law back. Law says if you see someone hurt, you should summon a medic. Law doesn't say how fast, though. So you can sit tight a while. <laughs> nah, nah, fuck you guys. Seems true what they say. Sword or no sword, a witcher brings gold. Been Not there the whole time? for your peasant wisdom. Who the hell are you? If all goes well, dare say I'm your partner. Don't need any partners. Oh, I don't know. We're about both dressed that. the same, though. No chance you'll lay your hands on Max Borsodi's house alone. How would you know I'm looking for the house? Hmm. How do you know I was looking for the house? I was at the option. Disguised, of course. That argument hmm. on the topic was hard to miss. Get to the point, if you can. To get this house, you need to get into the vault. And there's no way Horst will let you in there out of the kindness of his heart. A heist. Don't like that idea one bit. I do. I Go like it a lot. Find the herbalist lives near Oxenford. Ask for some yarrow extract. You'll know why you've come. If this mm. is a trap of some sort. For seeing you. I hope. We have the same outfit on. One of us is gonna have to change. I'm not old enough, or high enough. <laughs> not old enough. I'm not a high enough level yet to, uh... Use the new Witcher guy. I wonder if, um... So I bought the... The diagrams for the... Armor. Hey! I'm close to being able to use it now. I bought the diagrams for the armor. I wonder if, um... There's diagrams for swords, too. But anyways, I'm gonna take a break here. Um... I know there's some things I'm gonna end up cutting out, but... Uh, we're coming up on an hour, and we just finished a good 
where we found a good place to take a break. Um, so yeah, I want to go sell the painting. Actually, maybe that that's the last thing we'll do. I'll see if I can see if I can do that before I forget. Um, this is the bookkeeper. The bookkeeper in Novigrad, they said. Hopefully, it'll pay more than 60 crowns since that's what I paid for it. But he is over here. Hello. Ah, you're back. Ah, yeah, I'm back. Looking to sell a painting. Got a painting I'm looking to sell. Good for you. But why come and me about it? Because it's a Van Row. Heard you might. A Van Row? Yeah. I'll take it. Now, where's me purse? <laughs> I haven't much just now, but I'll add a bit of loot. Another witch I left it as collateral. What was his name? Gaiatane? Gaiatane? So interesting. Thanks. Huh. How much did I sell it for? 500? Hell yeah. Conserved Shelmar Trophy. Ah, avid collector. Oh, that was a side quest. Okay. All right, well, this is a good place to take a break. Uh, I'm gonna maybe spend some time selling some stuff and crafting some stuff and upgrading some stuff and uh, yeah. So for now, thank you guys for watching. Like this video, comment on it, and subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more videos like it, and I will see you all soon.